Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today, we're going to be blasting Santa Fe, New Mexico's ever so evil superstition in their debut full length, The Anatomy of Unholy Transformation. Fuck yes, 20 bucks spin. Hands down, in my opinion, the best release of the year when it comes to 20 bucks spin. I know some people will argue with that, but this is everything I want out of a fucking full length. Like, it's so goddamn good. Just, wow. I, I can't wait to get to this. Like, this is seriously one of the few records that in my lifetime, I legitimately only listened to the A-side the first three listens because it was so fucking good. I just kept wanting to listen to it over and over and over and over again. And then once I got to the B-side, it was the same thing. And it just hasn't left my turntable since yesterday. And that's fucking sick. Like, this is so goddamn good. Seriously, I really feel like Superstition might be a little bit overlooked at the moment. You have, like, the new fetid to mold. Seriously, like, get this release right here. This is so fucking good. Like, if you've heard the demo surging throng of Evil's Might, this pretty much picks up right where the demo left off. Amazing production, amazing riffs, amazing songwriting, the anatomy of unholy transformation. This is going to hands down be one of the year's best death metal records and just give it a chance, give it a listen. I'll put the Bandcamp link in the video description. Oh, motherfucker, that rhyme. But I do apologize. I have to wear an arm sling, keep my shoulder in place. I can move my hand a little bit, but today we're gonna be talking about a Dutch band, and it's not who you think, because you can read video titles. I'm talking about the sophomore release from one of the most insane sounding black metal bands I have ever fucking heard. And that is Verwode de Val. Whoa. Where do I start here? Besides... Alright. You are in a black metal band, and you love Leviathan, and, you know, he's a big influence of yours, and you want to try and capture some of you know, later era Leviathan weirdness. So, you just eat an entire sheet of acid and go into the recording studio. Next thing you know, this is the result. Holy shit, is this album gnarly. Like, sonically, visually, it's fucking Stunning the artwork here. Wow. And this is on plain black vinyl. I'm sure the colored version looks absolutely amazing, but um, FedEx lost the packages with the uh, colored ones, but they found it. But I was just like, I'm cool with black. I, I could, I really could care less. But I'll read you the hype sticker real quick. Dutch black metal specter Vo Verwode returns with its shadow-torn sophomore LP, revealing much more psychedelic and hallucinogenic cosmic texture than ever before while remaining yielding in its nihilistic and violent tactics for fans of Leviathan, Wormlust, and more. And that's pretty on the fucking money here. What if that was my eyes? Ah! This is so fucking good. 
Seriously, like, ver wowed. Holy shit, seriously, ver wowed. When it comes to, like, black metal that thinks outside of the box, a lot of people go straight to, like, Death Spell Omega. And it's like, okay, like, that's an easy, you know, that's an easy answer to a hard question. Because sometimes there's bands out there that tried to add that try to add psychedelic elements to black metal and just fall flat on their fucking face. But then there's other times where it's a home run. And I'll be honest with you right now. One of my favorite US black metal records when it first came out was Nocmistium's Instinct Decay and Assassins. Uh, B- B- Black Metal Part 1. The record that came after Knock Mystium's Instinct Decay. And why? Here's why. Because they started adding these fucking Pink Floyd elements and thinking outside of the usual realm of black metal thinking. And what ended up happening was you had the blueprint for assassins and that blueprint is and was instinct decay now fuck Blake Judd and you know it sucks that Nocmistium did release some good stuff like the world fall EP assassins black metal part one instinct decay but instinct decay was when they first started experimenting more with that Pink Floyd psychedelic sound and bands like Leviathan started also adding those type of outside of black metal elements a lot earlier but it started getting a lot more prevalent in the mix especially on an album like Massive Conspiracy Against All Life but here with Verwo Deval, holy shit, is this just a slab of psychedelic mania? It's absolutely savage, totally Lovecraftian, like at its heart as well. As we dwell on the placid island of ignorance amidst the black seas of infinity, we realize we were never meant to voyage far. And these are mostly all in, like, a different language, the song titles, but with English lyrics. And there's a lot of just cosmic, like, just fury in here. And it's fucking sick sounding, like... Because it's vicious, yet beautiful, and it's just an amazing, amazing listen, and you don't want it to be over. And I actually ordered a colored version, but they got lost or something, so I'm happy with the black version. I actually think it looks sick as fuck, like, with the sticker art and stuff being, like, silver. Sentient Ruin is just killing it, like, lately. I'll be going over that Depressor release soon. But this is just such a fucking kick-ass release, like, I don't even know what way to properly hold this, but I'm guessing it's this way, because all the lyrics go like that. But, if you're a fan of psychedelic black metal that thinks outside of the box, yet is recognizably awesome, look no further than the sophomore release from Verwood, Deval, because this is so fucking good, like, seriously. And I'm only bringing up Nocmistium, because they were one of the first bands that got me, like, very much interested in that outside-of-the-box thinking when it comes to black metal. Because I had never heard Pink Floyd's metal album, not metal, metal, M-E-D-D-L-E. It has, like, one of these days that opens it up, where Nocmistium had one of these nights, but that's not the only parallel with that record, but it made me check out 
some Pink Floyd material I had never heard before, and I was just like, why do they not play this on the radio? And then I realized it's a 21-minute song, but it's all gravy, but... When it comes to black metal, I would go so far to say that right now Verwode is up there with like Leviathan when it comes to like the Pink Floyd of black metal, when it comes to just that realm of thinking in a psychedelic manner. If that makes any sort of sense, like this is a total dive into the unknown that is the infinite sea of space. And the cosmic power that this record releases, you need to have that outside-of-the-box mindset to really, really nail a release like this the way that the Verwode have. I mean, hell, they did the artwork. So that goes to show you, like, alright, either this guy's an incredible painter... He's obviously an incredible painter, but I'm guessing some hallucinogenics were involved with this painting because it's absolutely, like, fascinating in my opinion. Like, it's cosmic as fuck, yet, like, just super trippy, not to sound like a fucking dipshit, but seriously, like, wow. It's like, you know, this could be how we were created as a species. Even though we were brought down as slaves by the aliens. But that's a tale for a different day. All I know is if you want to get into some strictly cosmic, hallucinogenic, trippy as fuck, awesome black metal. Look no further than the Dutch's gift to black metal that are Verwode and their sophomore record, Deval. Holy shit, this is so fucking good. But if you like your black metal, you know, just strictly either in the realms of Black Death War Metal or Dark Throne, Transylvanian Hunger-esque sounding, this is not for you. If you're a fan of Death Spell Omega and, like, Leviathan, bands that just don't play your average black metal, then Verwode are one of those projects that you pretty much are obliged to check out as a fan of black metal that thinks outside of the box. And don't go dropping the term, oh, it's probably hipster black metal or some shit like that. Because it's so far from that. Trust me, this is fucking grim, icy, but yet in a cosmic way. As we know, the cosmos are a very cold, vast, and empty place. And remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. But we were blasting Santa Fe's New Mexico, superstition, the anatomy of unholy transformation. Fuck yes. What a killer debut full length by superstition on 20 bucks spin records. So fucking good. Thank you, John Randall, for making this video happen, and thank you for watching, you fucking rule. I'll give you some updates on this as I find out more. Who? <laughs>